it's time to break down barriers, destroying the status quo as we create our own biome. For now, we shall give our park a handy placeholder name. They say work with what you know, so our park will be based in Tunisia. We will now cut to a finished car park where I will pretend it took me no time at all and I didn't in fact spend five painstaking hours creating something that will never be used by park guests. I will now leave you with some b-roll of the work so far whilst I cry into a pot noodle. Now that I've had some time to wipe away my tears, we can start thinking about our park entrance. Moving forward, I'll be using a highly underused technique known as time lapse. We have reached the dramatic cliffhanger that is the end of episode 1, posing such questions as will he move on to the park entrance next time? The answer being yes, yes he will. I say we, but in reality I'm sat here on my own contemplating life and these wonderful UK plug sockets. I wonder who made them? It was me. Just look at those flower beds. Quite overwhelming. And just like that, our coaster has both physical and emotional support. You may be wondering what on earth this lonely and pathetic piece of track is doing here. Well first of all, try not to be so judgmental. I've had to spend the whole week just calming my excitement levels, and to be honest, I don't think I'm fully recovered. I took a look at my YouTube analytics. I know, big brain time. One downside to working from reference imagery is that I now have photos of public restrooms in my search history. The middle window hurt my feelings, so I got rid of it. As you can tell, on this channel, we throw convention out of the custom-made window. Oh good, you made it. I was a little worried I was just talking to myself for a moment. I don't know if you've ever tried adapting this truck piece before, but here's a word of advice. Don't. Crikey, a ride and a shop in one episode, I think I need a lay down. Each pathetic lamppost gets an area light to give it some self-worth. At first, I started time-lapsing the parving process. Little did I know, it would be an ungodly nightmare. Hey, Moomin Tiny Shoes, or whatever your stupid name is. Real humans are a nightmare, so I used animatronic ones instead. I placed these fences down like an Irishman on St. Patrick's Day. I googled missile silo to get some inspiration, and now I'm probably on some sort of government watch list. A cat ladder makes getting down into the pit a lot less painful. Last but not least was the joyous task of putting it all together into the wonderful display sequences, which as we all know, make life so easy for everyone. I'm going to go drown in a glass of white wine whilst you sit back and watch some cinematics. This week is bloody mental. We build a flat ride and two shops. I can barely control my excitement. As far as fast food restaurants go, my favourite is easily KFC. <gasps> Plot twist, he's not a vegetarian. If you're wondering why I haven't made this custom fire exit into a blueprint by now, you're not the only one. Where do I come up with this stuff? I'll tell you where. I steal it from other people. I place the beams by eye, so no, they're not even. But when you're travelling at the breakneck speed of 4 miles per hour, you'll never notice. Unfortunately, there are no staff-only paths in Planet Coaster, despite the fact they implemented it into Planet Zoo, and it would be super easy to bring over. Cough, cough, frontier. That's right, another Hitman-influenced build. It's almost like it's one of my favourite games. I made some large windows using beams, 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 and more beams. Oh, and glass. Am I a bit salty that Channel 5 didn't get the custom media working for the showcase? Only slightly, but I'll get my revenge one day. What is Little Rock Ridge, you might be asking? Well, based on typical narrative structure, I'm probably about to explain. Some basic shapes as an electrical unit, with cables to join them. And yes, I was crying the entire time. Next, I created some wooden decking using, well, wooden decking. How has your week been? Please don't answer, because I can't hear you, and your loved ones will have you sectioned if you start talking to a screen. I popped in a staff room and then added some skirting boards to the outside of a building? Somebody stop me. I popped down a couple of ATMs to ensure guests have enough dollar dollar bills to ride our new coaster. I decided to build a small porch, but later on decided it was a disgrace to the park and kicked it to the curb, shouting, get out of here. Presuming this is the UK, I need to pop these on the left side of the road where we've decided to drive for some reason. So to be clear, don't whatever you do hit the join button by mistake, giving you access to things like an exclusive discord chat, early access, and even having your own tiny name at the end of each episode. That would be awful. Anyway, now you've pressed the subscribe button, I can continue. I used the castle flat roof pieces for the basis of what will become our port cochere. Yes, I know fancy words. Unlike Blackmire, he actually managed to finish this build. Sick burn. You know, if you watch any of my videos at the premiere, I will be in chat so you can speak to me directly. How exciting! However, I decided against adding any text because as we all know, the in-game fonts are garbage. Next, I added a whole heap of foliage and a couple of little rocks. Get it? Because... 
Little Rock Ridge, Humour, a balloon shop, water cart and park sign. How on earth do I get so much done in a week? I added some bunting, but then had an existential crisis about the building's colour scheme. Do you want the good news or the bad news first? Oh wait, I can't hear you. It's theming time. I added a whole bunch of western props. I know, I never cease to amaze. Using the castle pieces for something besides a castle? There's clearly no end to my madness. My original plan was to use a rough brick pillar to continue the chimney down the wall, but Frontier didn't think it was a good idea to complete all of the build sets, so my dreams were crushed. In case you're watching Frontier, you're an incredible company and yes, I would like free stuff including early access to Planet Coaster 2, which is definitely under development, right? I knew I wanted to add some ivy to the house, but not this weak ass 2D ivy that comes in the wall climbers category. We all know the phrase less is more, but sometimes more is more. What will the coaster be and who is the secret guest? It's SC Reconcile. Obviously rides come with proper human ride operators, so unfortunately we have to shove her in a box if we want this ride to look unused. Pathing is the biggest nightmare in Planet Coaster. I've had my fair share of troubles along the way. You mother piece of shit. But before we do, let's do some honourable mentions like we're flipping Watch Mojo. But if you have something to say about it, pop it down in the comments for me to go ahead and ignore. In case you missed last week's episode, just go back and watch it. I googled what are the uppy downy things on top of a castle and then created the battlements using more of the ruin pieces. I wanted it to look like the edge has crumbled off into the sea, perhaps due to erosion. Oh, do forgive me, I accidentally said three in French. It's so difficult being bilingual. I think jazz is stupid. I mean, just play the right notes. I added some moving lights to the truss before adding a piano and mic to the stage. Well, that terrible jazz has to come from somewhere. I realised I hadn't added any speakers to the stage. I know, nobody would be able to hear that wonderful jazz. Our musicians need to hear themselves. God help them. Right now, it's the 10th of April 1912. The Titanic has just set sail from Southampton. And from what I hear, it's going to be a fantastic voyage. If anyone can let me know who makes these wonderful UK plug sockets, do let me know. For those of you waiting for a coaster, I've got some good news. Just kidding, it's a flat ride. I had a quick think about the most pretentious food to ever be put in a vending machine, and of course went with sushi. If you haven't already noticed, gold, white, black and blue are quickly becoming our feature colours for the park. If you didn't notice, then now you know. But my goodness, don't you forget it. I used the same ruin pieces but went for a church build because there's nothing God loves more than coasters. How are you today? Are you having a nice day? Oh wait, I can't hear you. Okay, guess I'll just talk to myself. I deliberately wanted the church to look oversized and ominous. Or as the Backstreet Boys once said, larger than life. I encased it in one of the pre-existing buildings from last week. Remember last week? <laughs> what fun we had. This is the part where I introduce the video, throw in a hilarious and sarcastic joke, then proceed to give an overview of what's to come. Well, now we've got that out of the way, let's get into the episode. Someone commented on a video recently, telling me to just play the game the way it's meant to be played. I simply chuckled and said, you've come to the wrong place. Any building without a trim is a disgrace to its family, so this one gave into social norms with a few wooden beams. Now you might be saying, hey, wait a minute, when did you do custom supports? Well, mind your own business. A lot of people ask where I get my inspiration from. Well, get ready because here's my secret. I make it up as I go along. Now you might be wondering, where did you get the game audio from? Well, from the game of course. But Moomin, there's no level select in Bioshock, so how did you get to Ryan Amusements to record the audio? Oh, that's okay, I just had to play through the game again. Ah, the things I do for content. A few people have berated me for making my queue so long. Well, just because this park is for the elite, doesn't mean there aren't a large number of them. But also, try not to worry yourself too much. Last week, I said we would be adding the final layer to the castle. Well, I don't want to say I lied, but we don't end up doing the thing I said we would do. Said access is through a lovely little tunnel that I created using the path tool and definitely was completely easy and I had no trouble at all. Can you believe it? Using haunted house pieces for something other than a haunted house? Where will my creativity end? Would you believe me if I said we're adding a second flat ride? Well, you better bloody believe it because I just did. Have you noticed this is episode 10? And if you're watching this on the day of release, it's the 10th of December. Have you also noticed I'm just saying this to fill in the empty space? Next, I fenced off the ride areas to stop silly folk from going into silly places. Where people will not go, foliage will surely grow. Goodness, perhaps I should have been a poet. 
Moving on to bins and benches, I placed some, wait for it, bins and benches. <laughs> 